What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Fox of Duels, baby. Today, we've got 10 PC mods in testing. We got five console mods in testing. All those five mods were released today. A2 Studio is back. Custom modding have their land all haul all in game. Farm Central Soul show off customization options for their 1958 Chevy. Plus, EY modding's taking stuff from the combine and putting it in a trailer. But how? Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have classifieds, garage pack with solar panels, Corona Big Pack 120 Lieber TL 4367, Linder Unitrack Pack, Maps JZD Void High CZ, Mini Brune, placeable storage containers, shed with modification function, and the TU Dresden Field Schwan. In testing for consoles, we have the Forsyth T890 coupling trolley pack, halogen spotlights, Lizard PSL 5510 liquid cart, which was released today, modern pigsty, and Valley View. With all that being said, we still have 20 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is one workday. In addition to the mods and testing, five new and updated mods were released today on the endgame mod hub, including the new PLS 5510 liquid cart and an update to the ever popular Dull Ranch. I've already made a video showing these off, you can find that video linked in the first pin comment and description below. A2 Studio is back. After dealing with internet problems, he is back and better than ever working on the update to the TLX Phoenix series. This update will be bringing modularity to the mod with different things like a logging bed, flatbed, and of course, the racket. If you want to see the full replay, check out A2 Studio YT, link in the description below. And as always, tell them DJ sent you. Custom modding have their Landall 845AG haul all series for all platforms in game. They say that the modeling, UV map, textures, Giants editor, and the XML work is all done. The mod will be sent off for testing soon. Again, yes, for all platforms. They go on to say that they are finishing up the scripting and configuration part of the mod and will be expanding on its features in a future post. Farm Central Soul have also got their new mod in game, the 1958 Chevrolet, aka the Lizard Apache Fleet Side. I thought this was going to be 1960, but they have officially announced that it will be a 1958 model. They have shown two different versions in their latest post, a yellow version with more of a farm truck look and a blue version with a more Blue Rider classic restored look. The only question is, which version will you be going for? And yes, this is a mod they made for all platforms. And lastly today, EY Modding, formerly Yagi's Modding, has released some new screenshots of something quite unique that we've never seen before, at least in Farm Sim for all platforms. As you can see here, the combine is moving either straw or the grain to the trailer being pulled behind the new Holland TX32 all at the same time without having to stop. They say that this can be attached to any pre-prepared combine, currently seen here with a customized version of the new Holland TX32 series that will be included in the single Reaper mod pack that matches. This is something that is for all platforms, just waiting on the mod to go through testing first to see if Giants will allow it on all platforms. There's always a chance that it won't, but that's with any mod. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Is this something that you could use on your farm? And could you use the self-aware segue for anything? I mean, you wouldn't know it's the end of the video without it, right? Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods to myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, Hey DJ, where's that thing at? I don't know, bro. Just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Goham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Tomorrow we got the Farm Sim Show. It's going to be on Clutch Simulation's YouTube channel. It's also going to be on Goham Gear and my Facebook page as well. So if you want to, check all of those out. We've got a guest, but I don't know if it's public yet or not. So, lip sealed. All that said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Speaking of tomorrow, I got my movie tickets to see Free Guy. Really excited about that movie.